So, you know, I can't think of anybody I'd rather ask questions about tools to than Bob Denman of Red Pig Tools. And, you know, Bob, a lot of people are starting gardening again after, you know, maybe not doing it or giving it a rest for a while. And you have picked out a selection of long-handled tools that really every gardener should have to start a garden with. These are the essentials. Uh, I picked these because they're tools that are commonly available and the ones most frequently used in the garden. Uh, this is the most frequently used tool of all in the United States. This is an American pattern shovel. Uh, and it's uh, a combination tool. It's for digging holes, so it's cupped, and it's efficient both for breaking ground loose and for throwing. Uh, and the, uh, this is what you use primarily for all of your tasks. You can use this for spading, uh, but a better tool for spading, for breaking the ground loose, especially in your vegetable garden or preparing a new bed, is a spading fork. Mm -hmm. And a spading fork will penetrate more easily than a shovel because you have four thin tines. And then it more efficiently applies your, your energy to the, uh, because there's less resistance because there are four tines instead of a br the broad sure. field of a, a shovel. Then... After you get the ground loosened up and broken, the next tool you're going to want is a rake. And I prefer these flathead rakes like this. This is a good stout one. It has a little more weight to it. The tines are a little bit longer. And it's essentially a harrowing tool. That is, you're going to pull it back and forth in the soil to make little ones out of big ones. You're going to find the soil. And you can also use the points right here uh, of the, the backside to break up clods. Mm -hmm. You can break up clods you, like this. You can also use this, you can flip it over as you finish and start leveling. You can use the flat here to level uh, until you have a really nice surface. You then plant your seed and you, you can use the flat for uh, uh, head right for that tamping and you get a nice smooth surface instead of a corrugated one like you do when you have curved tines. Well, that makes perfect uh, sense. Then uh, for for breaking up emerging weeds and maintaining tilth, that is keeping the, the soil loose near the surface so that water penetrates, and uh, for working in amendments, a cultivator like this, a three or a four time cultivator, mm -hmm. is a really excellent tool. And finally, when you don't use that often enough, and you let the weeds grow. But none of uh, us do that. Oh, we no, no. <laughs> certainly not. You might, uh, you, you want a, a hoe. And a hoe, this is an American pattern hoe, and you use the tool in an upright position for dragging dirt back and forth. And then you, you, you uh, pitch it a little more uh, forward for slicing weeds. Mm -hmm. You can also use the point of the tool for uh, making little furrows. It's not a great furrowing hoe, but you can use the point for, for making furrows to plant your seed. Uh, and given those tools, you can do most of the things you need to do in a garden. Now, you may, there are a lot of other tools that may be more convenient for you depending on what kind of gardening you're doing and where your garden is in its life. When you first start off, you need a lot of heavy tools. Later, you, but you don't need any pruning tools. Yeah. Later, as things grow, you may need pruning tools and other things and lighter tools just for maintenance. And finally, you go back to those tools that you had in the first place, the big heavy tools, for grubbing everything out and starting, starting all, all over, over again. again. Well, you know, a few, uh, a few months ago, we did a segment on the proper usage of, how, of shovels and the length and everything compared to that, how it's, you know, the best for your body. You can go to Gardentime.tv and we'll put that up so you can catch a glimpse of that again. You know, Bob, every time I come out here, I've been gardening a long time. I always learn something about tools and the proper usage. Always a pleasure, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you.